Hey friends, Thursday pre-recorded daily dub edition. I am probably either on a plane or on the beach in Mexico. And for that, I am very grateful. Uh, but again, I went ahead and recorded some of these so that you could get your fill of daily dubs in the meantime. Uh, if you didn't need that, just skip it. That's fine. But there were quite a number of people that reached out to me and asked me to have them while I was gone. So here we are. So today's topic is from Sean Hull, and uh, he wanted a, a daily dub on stands, uh, one twelve stands in particular. Um, and so I'm going to try to do the best I can. I'll, I'll actually put some links and stuff in this video or some images like I did and how my thing is set up. So there's a variety of stands I use. First, let's talk about peg hole stands for like Marvel Legends, Black Series, uh, NECA figures, anything that has a peg hole in a three and three quarter. So my go-to are the Marauder Gunrunner stands. Um, they're not terribly expensive. You can get like 20 for five bucks maybe or uh, something like that. The price changes. But um, they're little clear square stands. If you've looked at any of my Marvel Legends collections over the years, uh, you can see that I have them. Uh, they have like little grid lock pieces like Legos. So you could connect them. You can kind of set up displays. You can raise them to elevate, make them turn them into risers. Uh, and they have like a 112th peg hole and a 118th peg hole, three and three quarter. And they work for a vast, vast majority. I'd say as high as 90% of things like Legends, Black Series, uh, WWE Elite, that style of thing. Um, sometimes they peg right in, they're perfect. Other times you may have to use the blow dryer on the peg hole a little bit to loosen it up. Uh, the times it doesn't work is when the peg hole is really shallow and the peg of the thing is, it, it doesn't work. So it just falls off. Uh, so that's a, that's a, a peg hole stand I use. The other peg hole stands I use primarily are the um, the NECA uh, stands that you can buy. You used to buy in Toys R Us. They have them in Target now. They're a little more expensive. They're like, I don't know, seven, eight bucks for 10. And uh, the thing I don't like about those is they're bigger. They're a circle. They take up more space. Um, you know, if, if you're looking for peg hole stands in mass, you probably have a lot of figures and you don't need that space taken up by those. Um, they also don't work as well with some things. Um, even with their own product, like NECA Predators and Aliens, I find don't always work well with those. They, they tend to fall over. Um, and, and some of that's the design and the nature of the way, like, the Aliens legs are and things like that. But they work. They also work really well for WWE Elite. Um... And then uh, you can find uh, the, the Marvel Legends actually had these gray kind of, they look like gears, three gear circles together stands uh, that um, they released with some of their Walmart exclusives in the early uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends days. Um, and then people have made those as well. And you can buy them on eBay. I don't love those. Uh, again, they take up too much space, but you can sometimes fit more than one because each of the little circles has... A, uh, a peg hole. So you can use those as well. Um, so hopefully that helps on those. I'll try to put some, some images as I was talking. Then for flight stands, a little bit harder even, um, so there's Obitsu, O-B-I-T-S-U is a company. I've bought them off Amazon before for flight stands, and they work okay, but they're very, very light, very light plastic, and so really easy to topple around. Um, you really need to screw the screws in pretty tightly, but even like the base is just so light that I sometimes have to put something else on top of the base to keep it from falling over, uh, but they're probably the cheapest uh, that you can find at uh, four or five for 20 bucks, maybe on Amazon. Um, the stands that come with Figma figures, uh, every Figma figure comes with a stand. Those work pretty well. Um, or Kyoto stands as a case, uh, may be on, um, some of the Revoltech things. Those work pretty well. And then you get stands. So Kyoto, Amazing Ramagu uh, yeah, Amazing Yamaguchi, Revoltech. That's the Kyoto stand, the Figma stand. They're very similar. Kyoto stands a little bit bigger, but they're very similar arm. Uh, and then um, Mafex come with a stand. I don't love that stand, but I know a lot of people like it. Um, so any of those can work. Uh, I don't typically, I just kind of pile those up 
so that when I need flight sands, I can get them. I don't use them necessarily with the figure that they came with. Uh, and then also you can buy a NECA flight stand. Uh, I, I don't think people love those. They're a little bigger base. They do have like a suction cup base, which can help with some things. They're not quite as dynamic as some of the other ones I mentioned. Storm has stands that you can buy independently. They're one of the few, just like Obitsu and NECA, that you can buy an independent flight stand. Uh, I like those a lot. The problem is they don't have a lot of uh, upward uh, angle joints. So you can have great like fighting poses where they're fighting each other, but true like flying is a little bit harder with those because they don't angle up. Um, but those are nice stands. I'm using a lot of those. Uh, and then of course the uh, Mezco stands are wonderful. Mezco doesn't sell them independently, but I think those are the best stands uh, that you can use on the market. And those are the, all the flight stands I use. I mean, primarily what you're seeing me use is Figma or Mafex stands. Uh, in, in most cases, that's what I'm using. And I'm just using them from other figures that don't need them. Um, then one other thing, there's a thing called Kaiser, K-I-S-E-R doll stands, which are little black bases with, uh, they go around the waist, similar to the way some of the like sideshow stands are. Um, you can buy those from uh, hobby stores like Hobby Lobby or um, uh, craft stores, any places that sell doll houses, doll parts, things like that. You can also buy them on Amazon. I have a great deal of those as well. They're wonderful for uh, any of your smaller legged figures that won't fall over. And you can get these in a vast amount of sizes. So I have my McFarlane five inch Walking Dead. I have a bunch of little bitty ones. You can get them all the way up to, I have them for my NECA 18th, uh, 18 inches, my NECA quarter scale stuff. They make them for those. So um, those can get kind of expensive. You know, you might pay uh, about a dollar, dollar and a half a stand. Uh, I know Talker Art, he uses those quite a bit as well. Um, I think those are the best standing stands. They can hide, you can hide them a little easier. Um, but they're not flight stands necessarily. Uh, so anyway, those are the stands I use. I hope they help. I hope you're having a good time. I uh, hope your Thursday's going well. You're almost to the weekend. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Squeeze it.